So in the last, I would say, 10 years, I must have started up another 20 companies, maybe a little more than that, roughly about four a year now. And the way I start them up is not what you would expect. It's not like a typical VC where you simply pour money in a bucket and then you, you put lots of smart people in there and something surely to God must come out. I don't do that. I don't do that. I actually use companies I'm already involved in as an example, Mitel. Not only Mitel, I'm also chairman of another company I started called Marge that supplies most of the infrastructure, for instance, to large stores, lots of banks for video surveillance. So I use these companies and, and, and clearly they're big. They have many, many hundreds of millions of dollars of sales and lots of clients. In the case of Mitel, it's about three million clients. But then of course the company's 30, 36 years old. So lots of clients, little clients, some very big clients. And when you have clients like that, well there's contracts in place. Whether it's a government contract or whether it's a contract with, a, with an enterprise or even small grocery chains and so on. But once the contracts are in place, what did you offer to that client? So I go after all the different industry verticals and take a look at what I call hot buttons that are important to them. And it's not very difficult to understand that once you've got broadband and the whole world is moving to broadband, all the enterprises and all the SMEs are moving to broadband, what did you offer them to sit on top of that broadband? It isn't just surfing the web. So I look for things that are important. I call them hot buttons. So let me give you an example. In the case of retail, the single most important thing on that income statement, of course, is sales. Next item is, well, okay, the bottom line is very tight, typically 1%. But twice the size of the bottom line is shrinkage. It's a nice word for stealing. So if you come up with a solution that removes shrinkage, every dollar you take off goes straight to the bottom line. You don't have to sell more. You don't have to buy more. You don't have to inventory more. You just have to get rid of that word called shrinkage. And 60 to 70% of all shrinkage is employee-oriented